what we have here is a bit of a versus match. The Hawk Vantage, 8x42, and the Hawk Nature Trek, 8x42. Both available in 10x42 as, as well. I The Nature Trek has a retail price, so just a, a rough guide, around about £40 more. <clears throat> and is the view any better through these? Yes. Um, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. No, no okay, okay. We'll go into a little bit more detail than that. But just um, all right, as, as I often do to start with, just have a quick look at the cases because everything else is the same. The strap, the Vantage, comes with a Velcro opener there, and the Hawk Nature Trek has a, has the same Velcro opener there but also has a little uh, a zipper compartment as well with with an internal compartment uh, should you want to put uh, a notepad or something similar size in there. So on the uh, the face of it, uh, they're both BAK4 prisms, they're both uh, fully multi-coated and um, a very similar field of view. Uh, on paper the Hawk gives a slightly wider field of view but it's in the real world it's very difficult to uh, notice that. Uh, I say, in my opinion, the, the, the Nature Trek does give a slightly brighter image with better contrast, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail. But at a previous Optics weekend, one chap came and looked at the 10 times 42 of each, and he bought the Vantage, and he said he could not see a difference. I can see a difference, but everybody is different, and I do not hard sell. If somebody comes in and they are more than happy with the Vantage, then Excuse the pun, but take advantage of this lovely binocular and, and buy it, as this chap did. So, the the Nature Trek is, is a slightly um, heavier binocular. You know, they're both polycarbonate, but the, the most of it, there's obviously better materials in, in this binocular. And, and so you would have thought, with this the Vantage being uh, slightly lighter, it would be much better in the handling stakes, but you'd be surprised um, well for two reasons. One, the the focuser on the Nature Trek is much more smoother and that allows for much more uh, easier single hand operation if you're out walking, holding hands with your partner, the children, walking the dog and you've only got a single hand, it's much more easy to use uh, the focuser. And the, the twist eye cup is slightly round, more comfortable uh, housing there to the eye cup where, where it's more flat with the nature trick so that they feel more comfortable on on the eyes but but uh, yeah the, it's it's a it's a minor difference it's a minor difference i think the viking you know they're similar to one of the viking binoculars that has a, an eye cup similar to that but still there's no fault with either one but i found the nature trick more comfortable to use more uh, better single-handed operation and just change the viewpoint a bit. So looking through them, the as I mentioned the the field of view with the Nature Trex is slightly more but to be honest I couldn't see a difference and so very nice with, uh, field of view with either one. Very similar, well I say very similar, I, I found the same amount of chromatic aberration on high contrast, high contrast subjects with either one, I couldn't see a difference. But uh, then looking into it in more detail, when it came to looking at the edge of field quality, the Nature Treks give a much more flatter field, and so there is less pincushion distortion, and uh, there is also less fall off in quality towards the edge. And by that I mean the image remains sharper than the Nature Treks, than the Vantage, sorry. That is not knocking the Vantage in their price range. Really, really good uh, view across the field. But I found the Nature Treks, uh, they were sharper towards the edge. There was less pin cushion distortion. And there seemed to be a lot less fall off in brightness. Uh, excuse me, just adjust the camera. A lot, you know, much more of a brighter. Uh, uh, I was looking at a, um, a chimney top, uh, a small, small part on top of it. And it almost, when I put it on the edge of the field of view, it almost seemed to turn into a silhouette uh, with with the with the vantage. 
whereas with the nature track the the brightness remain remained better towards the edge and uh, at first glance a lot of people may not notice this perhaps if the customer who bought the vantage has spent more time but but you know once a customer says yeah i'll have a set you know i i i go along with whatever they want i don't hard sell one or the other so, so yeah it's if ever you're testing similar price binoculars g give them a chance like m maybe ask the vendor hopefully from uh, from us you know is there a way you know i can be more critical with these binoculars like just to see which one performs um you know better in in certain ways so yeah the very good pair of binoculars either set uh 40 pound more for the nature trek uh yeah around about 30 percent so does it give an image that is 30 percent brighter no uh, br uh just you know probably if just plucking a number out of the sky maybe five percent brighter but most people won't notice that but then when you go into the details and you start looking at the edge of the view then that is where you get the sharper edge of field quality better focus towards the edge a brighter image towards the edge and uh, less pin, pin cushion distortion and so they are the main differences between the Hawk Nature Trek and the Vantage I will in the link below well I'll give a in the description below I'll give a link to, to each one and, and please purchase from our website if you're in the UK it it really does help this channel and the business keep going uh, through these uh, tough times and uh, I'll also leave um, all the specifications for each, bino each binocular if you want to go through them in, in, in more detail. So that's it. That's a quick look at the comparison between the Hawk Vantage and the Hawk Nature Trek. And obviously if you want to go up another level and get rid of that chromatic aberration then you're looking at the Hawk Endurance ED but then you're moving on beyond £200 for those. So yeah, thank you very much for watching as always. And I shall see you next time and hopefully not uh, leave it for three weeks this time.